This video is about absorbency for cloth diapers. Um, basically, any type of cloth diaper will have always two components, or at least two components. These two components are present in every diaper system, which is a waterproof part and an absorbent part. There are some diapers that have these two sewn in together. They are called all-in-one diapers. All the other diapers, you will have them separate. But even with all-in-one diapers, you can always add extra absorbency, usually. So it's always useful to know about absorbance. And I'm going to first start by explaining the different shapes of absorbency. And um, there are more. I'm just going to focus on these three because they are the most common ones. So this is an insert. This is several layers of uh, fabric that are sewn in together to form a certain shape, usually a rectangle. Sometimes it's a bit different, but usually it's a rectangle. And these uh, have the advantage that they are considered by many people to be very convenient because you would just lay them like this on top of the diaper. Um, so you don't need to do anything to the insert. There are you can also stuff them if you have a pocket diaper or snap them if you have a, an all-in-two diaper. There are different ways of putting the insert, but basically you don't do anything to the insert. You would just do like this. Um, so that's one advantage. Another advantage is that they are very easily available. So they already come with most diapers. So when you buy a diaper, they, it will already come with uh, some inserts. And um, yeah, the, those are basically the main advantages of inserts. The disadvantages are that they take much longer to dry because these are several layers of fabric that are sewn in together. So, of course, the air doesn't circulate as good in, within the layers. Um, and so they will take a long time to dry, um, especially if you hang them to dry, but also if you have a slow drying machine. Um, another disadvantage, and this is just my opinion, is that I believe they don't wash as good because, of course, the middle layers of fabric they maybe they don't wash the detergent off as good and of course there are ways you can minimize this but in my opinion in general this won't wash as good and this is just my opinion again there are people who disagree with me um, another thing is that you are not as flexible because of course there are different types of inserts with different types of combinations of fabrics different types of fabrics different types of fibers but still you cannot do the insert you want unless you sew it yourself so you are subject to what there is available, what inserts were already made by someone. So it's like an iPhone of the cloth diaper, so to say. <laughs> um, and then on the other end of the spectrum, you have what they call flats. Flats is just one layer of fabric. Uh, so it's just basically one layer of fabric that you, uh, you then um, can... Um, use as you wish. So you can fold it into a rectangle, which is called a pad fold, like I have here. Or for instance, another option would be, if you want, you can also um, wrap them around the baby. So you could, for instance, do like this, and then like this, and then you would have like a fitted diaper. Uh, this is not very perfect because I'm doing it with just one hand. And then you would put a cover on top and the baby would be protected on um, all sides. This is especially good for newborn poop, I would say. Um, so, or, or you can do whatever you want with it, basically. You can really adjust it to your needs. So, for instance, if you want to have a little bit more absorbency in the front, you can do that. If you want to open in the back because of poop, you can. If you can open in the front because your kid uh, pees so much that it goes on the sides, for instance, and usually pees like this, <laughs> uh, you can actually do like this, for instance. So, you are very, very flexible. So, I would say this is the Android <laughs> of diapers. Um, the other advantage of this is that this uh, washes very well because it's just one layer of fabric. It dries very fast because, again, it's just one, one layer of fabric. Um, and you are very, very flexible because you can also choose basically any type of fabric you want. So there are, um, there are flats already made from almost any fabric. Of course, they are more expensive than if you just buy the fabric yourself and do it yourself like any uh, anything else, right? The, the difference is that there are some fabrics that you will need to sew. Uh, for instance, here, I had to sew them so that they won't, um, you know, that they won't fall apart. 
And other fabrics like this one, you don't need to sew. So you can just, uh, you know, cut it yourself and just leave it like that. Um, you can also um, use basically anything you have at home and turn it into a rectangle. And that will also uh, be a flat fold. So it will also be a, um, a, a pet fold, sorry. It will, um, it will also turn into an absorbent thing. You can even use a, a, a hand towel. You can basically use anything you want and that will be basically a flat. So that's a flat. Flat is one layer of fabric and it's definitely my type, my, my favorite type. Um, or fabric for its flexibility. I really like it. Um, something in between these two is the prefolds. So this is a prefold, and basically what it is is um, it's also layers of fabric sewn in together, but they are more spread apart, so to say. So you have here, for instance, in this example, you have eight layers of fabric here, four layers of fabric here, four layers of fabric here. When I put them all together, I get 16 layers, but they will be a little faster to dry than an insert because they are both more spread apart. They will still take much, much longer to dry than a flat, of course. Um, so. In my opinion, this is already a disadvantage. So it has the disadvantage anyway that they take longer to dry. <laughs> There's the disadvantage that, in my opinion, they also don't wash as good because, again, many layers of fabric together. Um, so for me, they have the disadvantages of uh, both uh, uh, an insert and a flat because also you still need to fold them somehow so I still need to fold them into a rectangle to put them so I still have to fold them uh, so I have also the disadvantages of a flat so in the end for me this is the disadvantages of all of them uh, the advantage of a pre-fold is that again if you don't like flats if you find this too complicated for some reason or too time consuming I don't think this takes much more time than this but yeah it does take a little bit more time you need to fold it more times um, then you you might find this more convenient. For instance, if I want to fold it, that fold that I made there, um, to make it into a fitted diaper. So with this would be kind of like faster, right? Then with the other one, I would need to, um, it already comes pre-folded, right? So it would have a uh, disadvantage. Um, yeah, you are also a bit more flexible than with this one, because for instance, you can either fold it like this, um, like this, for instance, and I would put it like this. Oh, sorry, so it's just one end, it's a bit harder. Um, so I could fold it in three, like a pet fold, and then fold it like, oh my God, <laughs> it's not cooperating. Okay. So I would fold it into a, into a rectangle, and then I would double fold it here in the front, and I would have a good fold for, uh, to stuff a diaper for a boy. So I would put this like this on top of my diaper, uh, for for a boy so I would have uh, more absorbency here in the front or I could fold them the other way around like this and I would have the majority of the absorbency in the middle uh, which is usually more convenient for girls because they usually pee more here in the middle so yeah I mean they might be a little more convenient than the flats and a little more flexible than the the inserts in that sense but they also have the disadvantages of both systems so you still need to fold it and you still have the problems with washing and drying so for me um actually these are my least favorite type uh, of of absorbency um, so now that i talked about um, different shapes i'm now going to talk about different types of fabric so when it comes to fabric, um, when, when you're measuring absorbency, uh, what you really want to know is two things. One is how heavy is the fabric, because the heavier the fabric, the more it will absorb. So for instance, from all these fabrics here, the most heavy one is this one, uh, which is um, Zorb. So this is uh, 3D Zorb, but, uh, 3D cotton Zorb organic cotton and this is 550 grams per square meter this does not mean it's necessarily very thick so this is the other factor 
So how thick is the fabric? Because I can have, for the same thickness, I can have a different, a, a more, um, a much more absorbent fabric. So grams per square meter, the how heavy a fabric is, will tell you how much it can absorb. And the more grams per square meter, the heavier the fabric is, the more it will absorb. I give you an example. This fabric is as thin as this fabric. I would even say this fabric is thicker than this fabric, right? This is a muslin and this is a muslin made of cotton. Um, and this is, um, this is 95% bamboo and 5% spandex. So it's a little, you know, it's, you can, you know, uh, <laughs> I cannot really, so it has a little bit of elasticity in it. Uh, it's a very soft fabric. And I would say this one is uh, even thinner than this fabric. However, this one is much thicker than this fabric. It's much uh, heavier than this fabric. So this is 320 grams uh, per square meter. And this, I don't know how many grams per square meter, but you can see it's very transparent. So this is a very lightweight fabric. Um, I have no idea how many grams per square meter, but I can tell you this is, doesn't absorb much. This one absorbs a lot, even though it doesn't look like because it's so thin. So ideally for a cloth diaper, what you want is something that is very absorbent, so with a lot of grams per square meter, but that is very thin because you don't want a lot of bulk in the diaper. Um, because especially for the night, for instance, you will need a lot of absorbency, but if you have a lot of bulk, you will um, tend to have leaks because of poor fit of the diaper. So, the best fabric, I would say, definitely, and if I had a lot of money or if I lived in the US, because I live in Europe and, of course, I have to import this from the US, it is definitely Zorb. This is Zorb is made of cotton. So this is the same. This is also cotton. This is also cotton. But this is a fabric called Muslim. It's the way that the fabric is um, sewn in together. It's intertwined together. And this is a fabric called Zorb. It's 100% cotton. There is no other fabric here. And this one is also 100% cotton. There is no type of, sorry, there is no type of other, either type of fiber here. And here there's also no other type of fiber. Both of them are cotton, but this one um, is very heavy. It's much, it's very heavy. It's, it's the heaviest fabric I have. It's 550 grams per square meter. And it's also very thin. So um, I have here, for instance, as comparison, for instance, this is bamboo. This is 100% bamboo, and this is, uh, and, and again, um, people will say bamboo absorbs more than cotton. No, it, what matters is how many grams per square meter. Um, for instance, this is 500 grams per square meter. This is 550 grams per square meter. This one is much thinner than this one, but this one absorbs much more than this one. If I was rich, I would only buy Zorb. <laughs> The, it's like the wonder fabric. I really love it. But here I have to import it and it gets very, very expensive, uh, unfortunately. Also, another problem with Zorb is that you have to sew it. And I hate sewing. I'm not very good at it. See, <laughs> um, And yeah, I, it's just much easier to buy a fabric that is either already made or that you can cut. And, and it, it will stay uh, without problems together, you know. But anyway, if you have money, you can... I definitely recommend Zorb or if you live in the US um, and especially if you have sewing skills, this is great. So this is just one layer. Again, these are all flats here. Um, and, and now, uh, so I'm going to, I was telling you about the, the weight of the fabric and now I'm going to talk to you about the thickness of the fabric. So when people say that um, hemp absorbs more than cotton or vice versa, uh, so um, what they mean is that if you have the same thickness, so if you have two fabrics that have the same thickness, um, usually um, hemp would be abs more absorbing than cotton. So when you say that hemp absorbs more than cotton, this is what people mean. Because hemp would be a heavier fabric, so the same thickness of hemp and the same thickness. Of, so here is a good example. This same, this thickness of, uh, or let me see if I find here. Yeah, I don't have here anything that I can really explain. But if you have the same thickness of fabric, 
let's say cotton and hemp, usually hemp would be a heavier fabric and so it would absorb more. But it's not always the case. And here are some examples, for instance. I have here some hemp. Where is my hemp? Here. This is 55% hemp and 45% uh, bamboos. And it's not a very thick fabric, so um, it's pretty good. And I would say this absorbs as much as this. So here I will need a much bigger fabric, so much more layers to create the same amount of, um, of absorbency as with this one. This one is just bamboos. This was is just um, it's, it's hemp mixed with bamboos. Uh, but in terms of thickness, this is also thicker. So in the end, in my opinion, it's not so much about whether you choose bamboo, hemp, or uh, or, or cotton. Or um, I'm not talking about microfiber because yeah, you can check on the internet why microfiber is not so good. Um, I don't even talk about that. I'm just talking about natural fiber. So. Um, <laughs> Hemp, bamboo, and cotton are the most used types of fabric. And typically people will say cotton absorbs the least amount, then bamboo is the next one, and hemp is the one that absorbs the most. And in terms of holding P uh, that you would uh, have, cotton holding the P the least, then bamboo holding it more or less, and hemp holding it uh, the other way, hemp holding it a lot, and uh, bamboo holding it more or less. So it would be cotton, bamboo, hemp. This is what people will say. But I'm here to tell you, it's not really like that. What matters is two things only. The thickness, the, the weight of the fabric, how many grams per square meter, and also the thickness of the fabric. I'm going to give you here some other examples. For instance, this is a muslim that is made of bamboo. This is 100% uh, bamboo made of uh, bamboo muslim. I'm not sure if the word in English is muslim. <laughs> I hope it is. Um, and, and this is 100% cotton muslim. And you can see this fabric is thicker than this fabric. And uh, one would say, oh, okay, but this one will absorb more because it's bamboo, right? No, it's not. Even though this one, so you can see here the thickness. And here, how thick it is. They are both kind of transparent, but this is a bit less transparent. But still, this one absorbs more than this. Of course, it's also more fabric. But this would absorb twice as much as this. Um, so it's not really... You cannot say, like, this fabric is better than that fabric. I would say, always look at um, the hev how heavy the fabric is and um, also how thick it is. That's the most important. And if you have money, I can already tell you the best one is definitely Zorb. Um, then the problem with Zorb is that it's not a very comfortable fabric, so it's not a fabric that I would put against the skin. Um, there is no problem with putting against the skin, like for instance microfiber, there is no problem, but it's just not very like, it won't feel good against the skin, it feels a bit like a winter jacket type of fabric. So, for instance, I would say the most comfortable fabric to put around the skin of a baby would be um, bamboo muslim. It's very soft and it's just a really nice fabric to have against your skin. Um, so, if you're using, for instance, this right against the skin, I don't because I use uh, pocket diapers. So, all my diapers always have here a stay dry fabric that is against the skin and I always stuff them. So I don't have that problem, but if you do, then you might want to have a layer of this against your baby's skin before you put anything else. Um, so this is uh, basically what I wanted to say in terms of uh, how to choose a fabric. Now I'm going to talk about uh, the, the type of fabric. So there are, as I already showed you, there are different uh, types. Um, you can have, for instance, something that is uh, thicker, like a, like something that feels more like a jacket. You can have something that feels a little bit like a, a blanket. You can have uh, terry, so you can use, for instance, towels. Many people use the washcloths from Ikea, for instance. I don't like them because they don't have the proper size for, it, for a diaper, in my opinion. And then you have your hand in the pee when you take them out. 
but many people use them. You can use muslims, you can use receiving blankets. Um, for instance, this is a receiving blanket make, made of fat flannel. This is very absorbent for the daytime. Um, so these are um, some types of fabric. So um, and, and again, you have these types of fabric in every type of fiber. So you can have, for instance, as I said, a Muslim made of cotton, you can have a Muslim made of bamboo, you can have um, here, um, this for instance is uh, hemp with bamboo, and this is just bamboo, but it's the same, same type of fabric. Um, so you can choose different types of fabric. Uh, for instance, this is a terry cloth made of bamboo. Um, this you can see here also, this is a type of fabric that is a very, very thick muslim. So it gets wrinkled, but it's very, very thick and it feels a bit like jeans. Not really jeans, but like very, a very thick sweatshirt. So not very, it's also not very nice on the skin, in my opinion. So these are the, the types of uh, fabric. Now I'm going to tell you what I personally use for daytime and nighttime. So for, for daytime, what I do is I always mix. I have always these two things, two combinations. So... I have this one, which is, uh, they, they, this, both, both of these fabrics, they are um, very absorbent. This one is 320 grams per square meter. This one is 380 grams per square meter. This one is bamboo and spandex. This one is um, hemp and bamboo. So I use uh, one of these in the diaper mixed with um any of these ones here so whatever i have at home these are all things that i used to use when my baby was a newborn to lay him down on the bed or to put underneath his face or underneath his body or to clean his face whatever so i had this all at home and i always use one of these mixed with one of these this one provides a lot of absorption and makes sure that the diaper doesn't leak and this one just gives it a little bit an extra absorption and also uh, it helps uh, when my kid pees all at once to absorb it faster. So um, these ones are basically to keep the pee inside and these ones are to um, let the pee get easily absorbed very fast. So this one keep the pee inside basically. Um, but um, this is just because I already had all these things at home. If I didn't have all these things at home and I was starting from the beginning, I would just basically get this. This is a very thin fabric. Uh, and of course, I would just make it double or, or maybe one and a half of the size I have here. Um, the thing is, of course, this is also more expensive than this. This is cheap. So, uh, for instance, I bought this, this one, which is actually the worst I have. <laughs> Uh, so this is uh, bamboo uh, muslin and and this one i bought uh, for i think it was like each one cost me like one euro uh, so this is very cheap and this one's here they cost two euros 50 each so this is of course very cheap uh, whereas this fabric here i made 20 but i spent uh 40 euros so it was also two euros each so it's not so expensive but i had to make it myself i had to order it i had to cut it um you know that's a lot of it's more work if i would buy this already made so you can also of course already buy this already made they they sometimes cost like 10 euros each so it's very expensive um but again if i was starting my stitch from the beginning and i didn't already have these things then i would just make this one um and and make this double uh, these ones I also have, this is actually more expensive than this. I bought this because in the beginning I didn't know about these grams per square meter. And I really thought that hemp was the best <laughs> because that's what everyone said. And um, I bought this one because it was the one that I found that had the most hemp, the most amount of hemp. So this one has 55% hemp because you will not find like 100% hemp usually. You will totally says other fibers mixed. And this is also mixed with bamboo, which is also a very absorbent fabric. So at the time I thought, oh, this must be great for the night. This must be great for the nighttime because, um, yeah, it has hemp. But that's not the case. Um, this one here, 
which is with uh, bamboos only, without hemp, uh, absorbs more than this because this one is 500 grams per square meter and this one is 320 grams per square meter. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, this is not good for the night. But for the daytime, it's very good. Uh, but it's, of course, more expensive than this. So if I was starting my stash from the beginning, I would just get this and get double the SDs, double the size, and this would be perfect for the day. So I show you here the size I have for this one. So I cut it myself. So this is the size I have, and this is a good size to make basically 12 layers. So I have 12 layers of this. Um, with this one, I also make, um, I make, with this one I make uh, three, three layers, yeah, three layers. No, sorry, no, I make also 12 layers. With this one I also make 12 layers. So, or four layers, let me just, sorry, I'm getting crazy here. No, with this one I make four layers. So, yeah, because like this, I think it's, I make it like this. So as you can see, I fold it in half and then here, this is how I fold this fabric. And if I fold it like that, this one would be too small. So this one I fold in four like this. And then I have four layers, which are the size of a rectangle, a bit bigger. Uh, so this one is, uh, basically four layers and this one is six layers so uh, this one I fold uh, as I showed you there in two and then in three so this one is six layers and this is four layers and they both um, they both absorb the same amount but this one is thinner so that's why I would prefer this fabric because it's thinner it absorbs a lot um, because it's again, this one is 370 grams per square meter. This one is 320 grams per square meter. So this one is heavier fabric, but very, very thin. It's a really good fabric. I really like it. So if I was starting my stash and I didn't already have these things at home, I would just do this like in maybe one and a half this size. And, and then I would just use this, which would be more practical. Yeah? But again, I'm not rich and I already have this, so I use this. So this is what I use for daytime. Uh, for nighttime... Nighttime is more complicated because I have, uh, as I said, a two and a half year old kid who still nurses uh, throughout the night, so it pees a lot. Um, and yeah, again, he's already a bigger kid, so he's a toddler, so he also has a bigger bladder, uh, so uh, he needs a lot of absorbency. So this is what I use. I use one of these and one of these. Um, this one is the Zorb, and again, if you're rich, if you have money, just buy this one. Um, I would have, if if I would have money and I would just put this one in two, so two times this size, um, this would be enough. Um, and then I mix it with this. This is 550 grams per square meter, 100% cotton sorb, um, and this one is um, what 500 grams per square meter um, bamboo, and this one I fold in six. And this one I fold in four, um, and, and yeah, this is how I, so I have here six layers of this, four layers of this, and this is how I stuff it. I put this one on top because this one absorbs faster, um, and this is how my kid sleeps during the night. It is pretty thick, uh, so for the night you have to use, uh, I have to use a different type of diaper, uh, which is a bigger diaper, a big kid's diaper, uh, so that I can stuff this without creating uh, leg gaps. Uh, but this is what works for us for during the night. Let me know if you have questions.